sana tamu sana tamu sana yes earlier today Martha Karua joined Azimio after which she fully endorsed Raila's presidential bid and in our earlier analysis today I talked briefly about that but in this video I want us to look at five political implications of Martha Karua's move to join Azimio and to endorse Raila Amolo Odinga for the presidency. And when I talk about Martha Karua, Martha Karua is not just your ordinary politician. In 2013, Martha Karua contested for the presidency. And then in 2007, after the post-election violence, during the Kofi Annan negotiations, Martha Karua was being seen to be the only man who was in Kibaki's camp because of a hardened position and a tough stance at that time. So in 2007, we had two antagonists. One was Martha Karua on the side of Kibaki. The other one was William Ruto on the side of Raila Odinga. So it's also very interesting that in 2022, these two leaders are actually again on the opposing camps. And Martha Karua's move to join Azimio is also very strategic at a time the president is actually trying to do all he can to consolidate the mountain behind Raila Mulo Odinga. So in this video, I want us to have a look at five political implications of Karua joining Azimio and endorsing Raila Mulo Odinga. But before we do that, in case you've bumped here, for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Yes. The first political implication, Martha Karua helps Raila Odinga and Asimio consolidate their support nationally and also on the mountain. You know, on the mountain, it's being seen that Raila is actually making inroads. Now by Karua now endorsing Raila Molo Odinga, it actually reinforces that belief and that has the potential of actually luring or rather attracting residents of Mount Kenya towards Raila Mulu Odinga. And that's very strategic at a time President Uhuru Kenyatta is also actually doing all he can to mobilize the mountain behind Raila Mulu Odinga. And then nationally, it also helps in Raila Odinga or rather it helps Raila Odinga in consolidating his support bases across the country. Because when Martha Karua joined Raila Odinga today, it was captured as a breaking news. So you can see clearly that Martha Karua is a big name. She's not just your ordinary politician. When she joined Raila Odinga, it was captured as a breaking news. And that, in my considered opinion, just helped Raila Odinga in consolidating his support bases across the country yes so that move by karua is a very big boost for raila mulo odinga yes that's the first political implication and then secondly it complicates matters for william ruto in finding a suitable and a formidable running mate and i'm saying that because for some times now the likes of Moses Kuria have actually been pushing for Ruto to pick Matakarua as his running mate. And I know from where I sit that if only Matakarua could have accepted to be William Ruto's running mate, William Ruto could have given Matakarua that position without even thinking twice. And that is so because largely, if you look at William Ruto's allies on the mountain, the ones who have been seen to be politically a little bit strong, the likes of Rigathi Gashagwa, they are all not interested in being William Ruto's running mate. And I've been explaining that, that all these William Ruto allies on the mountain, already they know William Ruto will not win this year's presidency. So they don't want to actually spoil their political careers by actually, after election, being just ordinary people. They want actually to, after, they want after elections of, uh, after elections in August, they want to still be either members of parliament or even senators. 
But joining Ruto or being William Ruto's mate is a sure ticket of political oblivion after August. So likely, William Ruto's closest allies on the mountain are not interested in becoming William Ruto's mate. So the only candidate was that was being seen to be a little bit viable or strong was actually Martha Karua. But now she has also joined Azimio. That's a big blow to William Ruto in finding a formidable running mate from the mountain. And now we, we might just find William Ruto going for very weak leaders as his deputy, especially from the mountain. So that move actually complicates matters for William Ruto. Actually, it throws William Ruto mm, off guard. Mm. It, it complicates matters for Ruto anyway. And then the third political implication, as when Martha Karua was joining Raila Molo Odinga, actually they were referring to one another as comrades, mm. those who were in the struggle. And Martha Karua made that very clearly, that she had been in the, in the trenches with Raila Molo Odinga, fighting for the liberation of Kenyans. And also when Raila stood to speak, actually she branded Martha Karua as a reformist who could not actually join the other side of the apologists. The other side of William Ruto, Rigadi Gashagwa, Musala Mudabadi, those who are the Kanu boys, eh, those who are being used by actually Kanu and Nyayo to oppress Kenyans during the Moi days. So actually Raila and Martha Karua them teaming up together and also with the likes of James Orengo, Anyang Nyongo, Kiraitu Murungi is creating the right perception that actually now reformers are together while the oppressors, the apologists who are being used by the then dictators, eh, the, the Moi government dictatorship are also on one camp. So actually it makes the game very easy. Either you identify with the reformers or with the apologists. It creates that kind of a perception. And then another political implication, it also widens Raila's options of finding a suitable or a viable running mate. Because before Martha Karua joined Raila Mlodinga, we had only some two names being mentioned majorly, that of Peter Kenneth and Peter Munya. But now with Martha Karua's entrance, I'm now seeing Raila has got a wider range of leaders to choose from. He can actually go for Martha Karua. He can actually go for Peter Munya or even Peter Kenneth. So this move of today by Martha Karua just widens and increases Raila's options of picking or rather of finding a formidable running mate from the mountain. So that's also a big boost again to Raila Molo Odinga in finding the best running mate from the mountain. And then another political implication, it also helps Uhuru Kenyatta in actually consolidating the mountain vote behind him. Because Martha Karua, if you combine Martha Karua and Uhuru Kenyatta in one camp, then we are taken back to 2007. And you know 2007 is very emotive. When some Kenyans think about 2007, it creates some kind of emotions in them. In 2007, Martha Karua was actually at loggerheads with William Ruto. And then Uhuru Kenyatta again was also being seen at that time that actually he played a role in helping the mountain people, his people, from allegedly the aggression of one William Ruto. So you find Martha Karua and Uhuru Kenyatta on the same car. And at a time again, Uhuru Kenyatta is trying all he can to actually kick William Ruto out of the mountain. I strongly believe that that combination of Karua and Uhuru Kenyatta will actually make some sense or rather bring some sense to the Kikuyu nation. They will just be reminded of how these two great leaders 
actually played a bigger role in actually saving them in 2007. And that will actually complicate matters for William Ruto on the mountain. Because now, Martha Karua maybe will just remind her people that this person here, me and Uru Kenyatta, we are the ones who actually saved you from this man. And I know residents of Mount Kenya most likely will listen because these are factual things. These are things that actually happened. And I know as time goes by, Martha Karua will most likely be used very effectively to undo what William Ruto has actually been doing on the mountain since 2018. I'm seeing all those political implications, ladies and gentlemen. And then as I conclude again, Martha Karua joining Raila Mulu Odinga also just adds Raila Odinga some votes on the mountain because also Martha Karua has got also some votes on the mountain. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, just as I did state when you were starting, in case you've bumped here for the very first time and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers here, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. God bless Kenya.